One Halloween Night by Mark T. Hope you're enjoying this series. On Halloween, Wendell, Floyd, and Mona were walking home from school when a black cat crossed their path. Don't pet it, Floyd, cried Wendell. Don't you know that black cats are bad luck? That's just an old wives' tale, Mona said. Besides, what could happen? Wendell merely shook his head. Anything can happen on Halloween. In fact, something did happen as soon as they got home. First, Wendell discovered that his mad scientist costume had turned pink in the wash. This is definitely a bad sign, he thought. Then Floyd found out that he had to take his sister Alice trick-or-treating with him. Pirates don't have little sisters, he complained. Worst of all, Mona's mother insisted that she go out dressed as a fairy princess. I look ridiculous, Mona protested. Nonsense, said her mother, and handed her a magic wand. They all felt gloomy that evening as they set out trick-or-treating and hoped that no one would, they knew would see them. But their troubles were far from over. At some houses, they were surprised with tricks instead of treats. At other houses, the treats were weird or awful. Soon their bags were full of candy with names like broccoli chews, sweet and sauerkraut, and eggplant fizzlers. I can't believe this is happening, Wendell grumbled. At that moment, a screech of laughter came from down the block. Floyd peered through his spyglass and groaned. It's Leona Fleebish and her nasty friends. Not them, Mona squeaked. They're the worst. We better run for it, cried Wendell. Floyd led them down a hidden path through the woods behind the old Dreedle house, but soon Leona's jeering voice rang out. We see you. You can't hide. The chase was on. Finally, out of breath, they tried to slip behind some garbage cans at the end of a narrow alley, but Floyd ducked a moment too late, and Alice's rabbit ears gave them away. Leona squealed with delight. Yo, ho, ho, I see something funny. It's Pirate Floyd and his baby bunny. The witches roared with laughter and slapped each other on the back. <laughs> Floyd winced, but as soon as he but as he drew his saber, his face lit up with a pirate's grin. First, he kept the witches at bay so his friends could carry little Alice to safety. Then, growling like a movie pirate, he swung out of reach on an overhanging tree limb turned a quick flip and somersaulted backward over the fence. I didn't know you could do that, Mona said. Floyd looked surprised. Neither did I. Come on, shouted Wendell. They're right behind us. They ran until they found themselves in an even stranger part of town. It's pretty creepy around here, muttered Floyd. Wendell suggested they hive in the graveyard, but Mona scoffed. You've got to be kidding. No, it's perfect. They'll never follow us into a place like this. Actually, the witches didn't mind the graveyard at all. We see you, Wendell, Leona crowed. What's wrong with Wendell? Let me think. He must be mad because he's dressed in pink. The witches shrieked and hooted, laughing so hard they nearly cried. <laughs> For a moment... Wendell's face turned as pink as his smock, but then an idea began to brew. He reached into his mad scientist kit and started mixing potions. Drink this, he told his friends. It will make us invisible. At the word invisible, the witches roared even louder. <laughs> but their laughter turned to puzzled yelps when Wendell, Floyd, Mona, and Alice suddenly disappeared. By the time the potion wore off, the children were several blocks away. Everywhere they turned, haunted houses creaked and moaned. I've got a bad feeling about this, said Floyd. Can you make us invisible again, asked Mona. Wendell nodded, but when he opened his mad scientist kit, it was empty, and suddenly the witches were approaching. 
Before they could decide what to do, the witches were upon them. Leona cackled even louder. Just look over there. You'll see something scary. It's Tinker Bell Mona dressed up like a fairy. The witches squealed and gawfled. They snorted and wheezed and rolled on the ground. Mona waited until the laughter died down. Then her eyes flashed and suddenly so did her magic wand. Now I've got a poem for you, she said, and pointed her wand straight at them. Ibbity bibbity boppity bowed. Leona Flebish, you're a toad. Instantly, a bolt of white light came out from the wand, followed by a clap of thunder and a great puff of smoke. The next thing they knew, Wendell, Floyd, Mona, and Alice landed right back on the corner where they, their evening had begun. There wasn't a witch in sight, and their bags were filled with wonderful, ordinary candy. Wendell stared at Mona's wand. How did you do that? She just shrugged. You said anything can happen on Halloween. Later they sat in Floyd's living room, sorting their candy and sipping cocoa. You know, Floyd, said Wendell, you make a pretty good pirate. Thanks. You're a good mad scientist, too, even if you are pink. But Mona was the best of all. She smiled. I guess being a fairy princess was okay. Still, I'm sort of glad it's over. Now we can all get back to normal. After a while, Leona Fleebush even stopped being a toad. <laughs> Happy Halloween. The end.